Are you one of those people that has pen straight hair that you just can't seem to get to hold a curl? Or maybe you're just looking for an effective way to do a good blowout and have the smoothest hair possible. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Brandon Experience. Today, I'm going to be showing you all with a live model how to get the shiniest, smoothest blowout known to man. And if you have one of those unique situations that you just can't seem to hold a curl, I'm going to show you how to blow your hair out, have the ultimate amount of shine, and still hold a curl at the same time. My model in today's video has extremely heavy, thick hair. So my model today got a root retouch. We touched up her color, and then this video is going to pick up from the blowout. We're gonna do a little haircut, and then I'm gonna show you how to curl. I'm gonna swing this mic over and record a voiceover. Come on, let's go take a look at our screen here and check out what we do with our model today. So first up, we are going to be using our Dream Cocktail Kale Infuse, which is designed to cut breakage in half by 50% with just one use. You only need to apply it to the areas that need attention, which is most often going to be your mid shaft to ends. You wanna follow this up with your Dream Coat. So this is the Color Wild Dream Coat you all see me talking about all the time. It looks like I am applying a ton of the product and that is because I am. You want to completely saturate the hair from root to tip. You want the product to encapsulate the hair totally, and that's what's going to give you that ultimate frizz-free, weightless, shiny, shiny, shiny hair. We're going to start our blowout with our Paul Mitchell Neuro Blow Dryer. Um, this is a blow dryer that I have a love-hate relationship with. It does an outstanding job doing blowouts. However, it is really heavy. So if you're looking for something on the lighter side, stay away from this blow dryer. But um, it's an excellent blow dryer for blow dries and it helps me work on my muscles and my arms. <laughs> so the next step, we are going to take section by section and smooth the hair out as well as we can. Um, I'm using a boar bristle hybrid brush so it has the nylon bristles to detangle and the boar bristles give you your polish and shine and then it also helps with the tension. So if you have wavy or curly hair it's going to be important that you take smaller sections. Focus on the ends and slow down a bit when you get to the ends to really polish them off. That's often the part of the hair that we have the most frizz on so if we focus on those areas we can get a super smooth blowout almost like we've ran a smoothing iron over it. Keep in mind when you are blow drying the hair, that is what sets the foundation for your style. So the better that you do with your blow dry, the less heat that you have to use for your smoothing afterwards. So next I am going to be hitting the hair with a cool shot. The reason I do this and I need every blow dryer I have to have this feature is that it sets your style and it helps to close the cuticle of the hair and lock in the shine that you have just imparted. If you are blow drying with a round brush, this is literally one of my favorite things to do. It helps to keep that shine and bend in your hair. My model has just shown me where she wants her haircut to start, and I'm going in and point cutting and kind of taking out some bulk. This is not a haircut tutorial, so I did not show the entire haircut, but here's our finished result. Look at the shine and how the hair moves. So at this point, the hair looks good enough that she seriously could have walked out of this line, but she was taking pictures and we wanted to do something a little fancier. So I went ahead and sprayed with the Color Wild Cult Favorite Hairspray, and you can see how brushable the hair is. It works for all hair types, and literally this is what's going to set the foundation and help us to maintain the curl that we put in the hair. Again, it's not heavy. You can build it up as firm as you need to. That's literally my favorite type of hairspray to work with. This is the Bioionic 1.25 inch long barrel curling iron. If you have people that have a lot of hair or you're curling extensions or uh, wig units, this is an excellent investment for you. Um, Bioionic has great products. They are on the pricey side, but I promise you it will save you tons of time. 
Notice I don't rake through any of the curls. I let them cool down as I go through the blow dry process so that they can maintain their shape. Um, if you let them kind of cool in your hand before you release them, curls will keep their memory and give you a much longer lasting result. Curled everything towards the center for the look that we're going for today. If you want more of a beachy vibe, don't include your ends and every other section in the opposite direction. When I curl the crown, this is just for a little volume, um, something I do for photos. And if I know my client likes to tassel their hair from side to side, I curl with the center part in mind. A key thing is when you are getting to those sections around the face, curl those sections away from the face. Um, you can push the iron forward and over direct first if you want a little more hair to fall in the face. This is all your preference. Let those curls cool down and then break them up and hit them with my favorite shine spray. This is the Extra Mystical Shine Spray. It's oil free, it doesn't lay the hair down, but it is great when you wanna kinda of run your fingers through the hair and don't wanna get the frizz following. Next, I'm going to put a little pop and lock serum to smooth any of those flyaways out of the way. Style on Steroids is going to be the last product that I am using. Style on Steroids is a texturizing spray, but you can still rake and comb through the hair so it doesn't leave it crunchy. And here we are, we have our finished result. Those curls are going nowhere, no matter how much I rake through them. It's gonna last her all photo shoot long. I hope you all have enjoyed watching my tutorial. I have so much content filmed now, I can finally start to produce the type of things that I have been wanting to give you all for so long. So today's video was just a glimpse into all of the tutorials that we have coming for you soon. I have color, I have some haircuts coming, you name it, we got it. So be on the lookout for those. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone, please continue to be well. And I will see you all next week, same place, same time, same channel. Peace.